We're into round two, heat number 12, with Mikey Wright, Vasco Ribeiro, Kaito Kino, and Emai Kalani Devault. Kaito Ribeiro along with Peter Mel for the call. And um, we're going to see what these boys bring at sunset right now because we've seen some big, challenging, scary, windy conditions, Pete. <laughs> it's one of the most challenging on the qualifying series. We're going to open up with Kaito Kino bouncing into a takeoff there. And eases through a turn on the open face. Wave standing up on the inside. Kaito very patient with his turn selection and pokes the nose after that setup. Imai Kalani Devault, the youngster from Maui, has been putting on great performances both on free surfing and in heats. And Imai, looking the goods, getting a nice top turn there. Stylish surfer finishes off on his feet, so score that for Imai Kalani Devault. Vasco Ribeiro, 2014 World Junior Champ. Muscular, large frame surfer, got a lot of power, so he's gonna be able to match Sunset with big snaps like that. Off the bottom again for Vasco, and another snap, getting a little air under his board, and finishes off, banging that white water. Imai had a nice little turn. Let's take a look first at Vasco. Again, off the main peak, and this wave cleans up through, it's uh, wave number three of the set. So it gave him some canvas. There it is, stripped out. Beautiful arc there. And this, uh, he misses this turn, but he gets the bonus for the end and tags it. So it's gonna be a good number for uh, Bashko. You know, again, he's got an outside chance. It is definitely an outside chance. I mean, he has to, to win here to put himself in a position, but you know what? There's a possibility there. So uh, he would know that and he'll put everything into this event. He wants to join his fellow countryman, Federico. Those guys have been battling it out for years together. And seeing the successes of Federico, you would uh, ultimately want to get drafted and draft that success. Here's Emai on his opening wave here. So this wave shuts down pretty quickly on him. The one maneuver there. He's always so quick out of his transitions. Keeps it together, compresses and, and absorbs all that energy and speed. And this was like one of the first waves of the set. Again, a lot more bump on the face. Not as wind affected as a lot of those first waves of the set. But then here you can see the burp. That's that lifting of the water. An important heat for Rodriguez. And he's going to be in the round of 64, the third round here at the Vans World Cup of Surfing when we get into that round. Vasco Ribeiro, live action continuing with an aggressive attack here at sunset it moves like that unfortunately it goes down but i'd like the intent you know and it is difficult to connect with the lip on uh, those set waves out here and keep the board under your feet kaito kino proning into this one finds some open face but just gets blasted and um he's gonna have to take another swing at it uh, we touched on it yesterday and how hard it is to pull yourself up to your feet when you're just getting compressed by gravity and all that speed and bounce. Just unfortunate the wave was uh, nothing there afterwards. Mikey Wright, exciting surfer from Australia. Big fan base for Mikey and a beautiful turn there but gets hung up in the lip. He's the highest rated surfer in this heat at 25 on that new era QS rankings that red jersey you talked about the red jerseys today having a chance if he can get himself into the finals take a look at what happened here for Vasco. the snap to start and then uh straight in attacking the lip the section flattens out not able to redirect the board back under his feet And we're looking at our new era qualifying series men's rankings on the board. As you see the three surfers battling and paddling. Well, we could do yeah. paddle battle. For everyone viewing here, catching catching up with us. It's actually looks, the waves are actually look smaller on the screen than they actually are here in real life. Get a little bit compressed. So think about this and add another couple feet as we see oh. Emai Kalani Deval just slash into that bit. Another bit turn for Emai. Savage. That is savage. Good word, Pete, because that was a description right there. He fanged into that first turn. That, that's, that word is trending. <laughs> Savage? Savage. 
at the Vans World Cup. I love seeing it uh. in the late drop, but look at this, just that's committed when you can just lay everything on the line and it's such a meaty section twice in a row. This is going excellent. Love it. And it's rare that we see, uh, you know, maneuvers going up into that excellent range as we see right now. Gosh, this, that is a committed maneuver. Twice in a row. Nice work, Emi. I mean, Love look at this section too. Just commitment. When you're going and you put that board away from your body, that's risk. That's high risk. And you do it with speed. And then you double up and do it again in the lip at Big Sunset. Mikey Wright, a lot's been expected of Mikey. Let's see what he has for us here. Off the bottom. Nice carve off the top. Patient off the bottom again. And a big carve off the top. Can he hang on through that white water? And to. unfortunately just gets sweeps him off his heels yep. right there. High risk, right? You go high risk like that, and you put yourself next to that white water. So challenging to pull it off. Can't do it for Mikey Wright. Just so close, because that was a beautiful arc. And uh, putting that board back into the pit, into that critical section. And of course, when you do that, you have the chance of falling. And that's what happened. Vasco Ribeiro, surfer from Portugal, lining up down the line, nice snap on the high line there. Gets to the bottom, a little warble, but he handles it nicely as the wave hits the channel to get just another cutty, kicks out, and is gonna race ahead of Mikey Wright to get back in the lineup and get better priority. Here's a replay of Mikey Wright. Well, let's see what happens here. I mean, he obviously can understand that when you redirect the board right into the pit. Beautiful start to this wave, and then this is that section. Lays into it, beautiful. He gets air into the board. Loses a bit of control. Gets enveloped by the white water. A bit too challenging. And you put yourself right in the pit like that, but that's what you gotta do. Here's Ribeiro. So Vasco trying to improve on a 3.27. If he does, it'll just be the slightest of margins. You know, really the way flattened out in that finish section. So just the snap, really. You know, carrying a ton of speed and then the section goes flat. It's unfortunate. You know, he did what he could. Kaipo doesn't mind a little uh, tequila and ice. <laughs> I don't mind it at all. It's relaxing and delicious. Jose Cuervo, traditional, and Imai Kalani Deval has a very relaxed pace here in some big, uh, intimidating Sunset Beach. Peter he does now. look very relaxed, doesn't he? I mean, uh, he is attacking each and every section. He's right there in the pit, you know, willing to take a few on the head. And that's what you gotta have. A bit of bravery today. Scratching, Kaito Kino gets into the wave, drops all the way to the bottom, nurses through a bottom turn. You can see the warble. Kino got an incredible barrel first day of competition. He's gonna settle for some turns here. He gets out in front of the white water, cuts that turn a little bit short. I think that was smart surfing from Kaito Kino to go complete on that maneuver. Well, again, when it shuts down and you get those white waters converging, you gotta get yourself out in front of it. Here we go, replay. Kaito Kino has yet to have uh, a solid wave considering what his competitors have been able to put up on the board. So he needs to kind of get himself in this one. Beautiful arc and again racing it out in front of the white water. It did catch him and he stays on his feet. You know the technique here again, he sees what's happening, gets the maneuver done, carves it across again that low arm across the chest and then brings it back to release and center himself on the board. And, Outruns the whitewater barely as it convexes together. Wow. That was heavy in slow motion. Just yeah. the air under his board. Here's a replay of Emai on his last wave. Yeah, no, a big score for him again. Underneath. I mean, that is doing a maneuver in one of the committed sections. And the judges will notice that. Keeps it together. Again, he's got some zest in the way he carves his board. Look at this, this turn underneath this section. You have that thing land on your head, watch out. That is a committed section. Currently 29th on the rankings. We'll get back to the right conversation because E. Michael Ani DeVault, our heat leaders, found another wave and now is just able to free his surfing up in 
it almost looks like he's having fun in some really he big sunset. How was that turn? Shredding. <laughs> he is so comfortable. I mean, uh, that was not an easy. I mean, there was it was like doing a, a turn in you know Niagara Falls River Rapids. I mean, that was radical. Cool. But here we go. The grad. grad you saw who paddled for that wave too. It was Mikey Wright. You know, and again just carves it right back and then you can see there's actually the driving speed through the maneuver but look at all the ribs and carves right through it no problem so much strength in that late drop just in perfect position to pick this wave up no other competitors around him you know on the outside of him was Mikey he missed it Go right. Island, Go Island sing now they'll sing and uh, Keanu big heat come for him coming up Vasco Ribeiro Wants to hang on to second place and on his way to improving his score. And just like that, slips off on the bottom turn. But he may have just improved upon that 3.4 that he has as his low. We'll oh, see what that's he judges a, thing. a big thing for him is he's got the second best sway of, of the heat. But his backup is fairly low, which is keeping the door open for Kai Tokino in Hawaii. And get those two scores lifted would have been uh, a much better position for him. Here's Ribeiro on his last ride, Peter. So Ribeiro, if he improves, which he has done on this wave, he's going to make it that much tougher for Kaito Kino and Mikey Wright. So true. Emai continues his assault on Sunset Beach to see what he has here. A down carve to get around that section. And that's all she wrote. Not going to factor in for Emai, but look at it. I mean, even his uh, four waves are all been solid score so it shows how in rhythm he is in this heat whose ranking is not indicative of his natural talent and here we go with right little sleepy carve to start off he's going to hope for this wave to stand up and it may just do so in this section here he's going to have to unload here actually he's going to look for the two comes in the barrel and clamped incomplete well, I understand his read there. He was trying to get the barrel. We've seen those go big numbers. But unfortunately, that wave did not open up for him. Well, the hooter sounded, and it's the end of the heat. Emai Kalani Devault, along with Vasco Ribeiro, moving on into round number three.